left wing. He finally missed. Rebound, though, Lang. And the ball is blocked out of bounds, and they give it to the Stampede. They say it's off of, uh, of Utah. And Brad Jones applauds the call, but I don't know if he thinks that was the right one. I couldn't see I was screened out. 44 seconds to go. And Idaho has the ball and a one-point lead. Mike Taylor walking dribble up the forecourt. On the right side, threw it out on him. Taylor with right now the lead basket. Behind the screen, Lang steps out on him. Taylor keeps it himself, drives, kicks it to Ferguson. Ferguson with five on the shot clock. To the free throw line, loses it, punches it to Violet. Two seconds on the clock. Violet puts it up. No, he doesn't get it off in time. Shot clock violation against the Stampede. And now the officials are going to talk about how much time's left on the clock. Critical, critical turnover on the Stampede. Their 20th on the shot clock violation. Violet could not convert, and Utah takes a timeout. We'll keep it here and reset this game situation for you. That was Utah's next to last full timeout. Now, officially now, they have no timeouts out. Kevin Kruger is 14 of 19 for 40 points tonight. You have to think he's the most likely candidate. Hamilton with 14, Pruitt with 13, 10 for Brian Jackson, 11 for Lamar Rice. You have to think the play will be designed for Kevin Kruger, who's been unconscious from three-point range tonight. Foul situation, five on Utah, four on Idaho. So next foul on both teams, and they're shooting free throws regardless. Utah comes out with Brian Hamilton, Kevin Kruger, Kevin Sweetwine, James Lang, and they need a fifth. It's going to be Gabe Pruitt. Idaho counters with Randy Livingston, Jason Ellis, Corey Violet, Josh McRoberts, and Mike Taylor. 20.7 seconds to go. Utah inbound, side court, in forecourt. Gabe Pruitt stretching his legs. He will inbound. Livingston will defend the inbounds pass. Kruger baseline, left corner, Taylor on him. They're going to try to keep the ball out of Kevin's hands, but he gets it to the top. Kruger to the right side. Taylor out on him. Runs past the screen. Down to 15 seconds. Here's Pruitt with the basketball. Pruitt drives, free throw line, puts it up in the paint. The ball is knocked away, and they give it to the flash with 11 seconds to go. Utah takes a timeout. All they have is a 20, so they take their 20-second timeout. They have 120 left. 11 seconds to go. Utah had the drive and the chance. It was blocked away out of bounds by Corey Violet, but Idaho could not retain or gain possession on the baseline. So now Utah still no shot clock, so they are only obliged to follow the big yellow numbers over the scoreboard and over the shot clock, which is 11 seconds even to go. 106, 105, Idaho. We're looking at it again. Pruitt drove past the baseline, past the free throw line, and Violet got it cleanly and sent it out of bounds. And here we go. The officials blow the whistle. The teams break their huddle. Same five for Idaho. Same five for Utah. Who will be the hero tonight? Will it be an offensive play? Will it be a defensive play? Hamilton will inbound baseline right. Ellis to defend. Stampede set up one in each corner of the lane. Violet and McRoberts down low. Taylor and Livingston up high. Sweetwine up near the top of the three-point arc, beyond the three-point arc. Here we go. Hamilton inbound. Hamilton looks for somebody. Hamilton can't get it in. Finally to Kruger. Long three on the way. It's good with 8.8 seconds to go. Somehow Kevin Kruger hit a three-pointer falling out of bounds from the right wing over seven-foot Corey Violet. Holy smokes. What a shot by Kevin Kruger. Unbelievable. Kruger, 43 points tonight, and he hit an impossible falling out most of the season. Idaho beat them in Orem earlier this month on a tip in by Corey Violet with 1.9 seconds to go to win 199. Utah lost one to Bakersfield the other day on a three pointer with less than two seconds to go. So the flash know all about close losses. Now they have to see if they can pull out a close win. Ferguson, Livingston, McRoberts, Jackson and Taylor on the floor for Idaho. 
and I know choosing to inbound in backcourt, which is rather interesting. And Pruitt comes into the backcourt to challenge on the press. Interesting strategy by Brian Gates. McRoberts to inbound. Taylor receives the pass with Pruitt's pressure. Seven seconds, down to six. Taylor into four court. Taylor drives all the way, puts it up. It's off the glass, no. Tipped by McRoberts, no. There's a loose ball and a foul against the Stampede. Idaho hollering for a foul. They're not gonna get it. Nine tenths of a second to go. Utah's gonna win this ball game, barring some sort of a miracle. The foul's called against Taylor. He had the drive. Watch the replay again. Mike took it himself. That was a design play. He had a lane, ran into Lang. Lang did not foul him. The shot was high off the window. McRoberts tried to follow on the slam. He could not. And Utah will have a chance to ice this ball game, perhaps with nine tenths of a second to go. The foul on Taylor and Hamilton to the free throw line. Five on Mike, and here we go. Nine tenths of a second to go. Hamilton to the strike, but first Idaho calls a 20 second timeout. They have 120 left, so if Hamilton is successful on at least one of these two free throws, Idaho will inbound after a timeout, side court in the forecourt to try and get a three to tie it. These are huge free throws, and let's see what kind of free throw shooter Mr. Hamilton is. He's four of six from the line tonight. He is 63% on the season. Wow. Stampede had a layup that would have tied the score 108, but Taylor challenged by Lang, who has five fouls, and the big guy did a good job not to foul him, and the shot was high off the window, bounced off the front rim. Roberts, McRoberts, skying in, trying to follow slam, could not do it. And now here's Hamilton for key free throws. Hits the first, now here's the big one. If he makes it, it's a four point game. If he misses it, I don't need to rebound at a timeout. He misses it, rebound tip. Ido cannot control, it's out of bounds and the ball game is over. Utah comes back and wins a close one, 109 to 106, handing the Stampede just their fourth home loss of the season, and Idaho fails to pick up ground on the Los Angeles defenders, and Idaho falls now to 31 and 13, and their lead in the West drops to a game over the Los Angeles defenders as Utah comes.